All right, guys, this video is not going to be any walk on the beach. We're going to learn how to step it up and add a flying man on a swing with a flying laptop. And perhaps more importantly, how to dissect an image you have of your company, maybe your team, or maybe you hiking like this sort of person was or on the beach. Um, I'm going to show you how to edit the image so you separate the background from the uh, protagonist from the different props that are in the image and then you can create different fly-ins using layer slider. We're going to use remove.bg to get rid of backgrounds and also clean up unnecessary portions of the image whenever it loads and we're going to learn how to use cleanup pictures to go ahead and remove parts of a whole background image like the beach to clean up a background image. It's going to be really fun and of course you're going to learn how to do it all in layer slider. So. If you don't have Layer Slider installed yet, make sure to click the link in the description below to hop over to the actual Layer Slider website at layerslider.com and get your own copy of Layer Slider. I will get a commission if you follow that link, and that's just how I keep these videos running smoothly for free for all of you guys on YouTube. So thank you so much. Okay, now for our last slide, we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna edit an image we buy. Yes, we're gonna buy an image because this guy is just the coolest. He just says having a win with the digital agency. So we're gonna buy them and then we're gonna edit this image, chop them up a little so the laptop can come in off the screen and the guy can come in off the screen. And I mean, look at that hammock. Like who doesn't wanna just be there right now celebrating whatever he's celebrating. So we're gonna buy the image. I'm gonna add it to the cart under commercial because we don't wanna get in any boo-boos. And then we're gonna view cart. And it's rare that I'd buy an image, so you know we really love it. And then we're just gonna check out here, probably a WordPress e-commerce site. And we create an account here, Creative Market looks pretty cool and legit. All right, and we're gonna go with the $9 license and finish the purchase for our cool hammock man. We're gonna download, we've got unlimited downloads of this purchase, and we'll open up our zip file. All right, and here the man is on Fangin Beach. Good thing it's a big image, very high quality image. We didn't get screwed over. Okay, so first step is gonna be to just open the JPEG. And we're gonna try some magic here, I hope it works. First thing we're gonna do is hit Command Shift 4, or however you do a cursor screenshot on your computer. And I'm gonna highlight just the laptop. And when you let go, that'll produce another image in the lower right. There it is. Now I'm gonna do another image screenshot of just the man, his whole body. We'll get it as close as we can inwards. That's probably good enough. And let go. Okay, we'll get the whole man's body for the second one. Okay, and now we're gonna go to remove.bg, which you might've seen in our past, start a blog or make a business website tutorial. It's a really simple site. But if it's your first time here, then let's welcome you and show you how to upload an image. So first we're gonna click that upload image button. So we'll look up Fangin and there's our beach man. Okay, so you can see if we upload the whole guy, it do, it'll do a pretty good job of just taking off the background, left the ropes and that little brick of wood a little. So we're gonna try to do a little better so let's upload the screenshot we took of the man, or the man, just his laptop. Let's try just the man first. And we're gonna call this man Joe, why not, Joey. Okay, so up close it did a lot better. You can see we get more of the man and the parts of the man that are included are clear and continuous. So we can actually use these ropes and this wooden block now. Really good cutout here. So we're gonna download it. And we'll call this one man on hammock no BG or whatever you like. Okay, next we're gonna open up that image of just the guy's lap with the laptop on it. So upload and here's this screenshot. And so we wanna isolate just the laptop if we can. But it cut the background so it's kinda cool. It knew that the guy was part of the upfront image but I really want the laptop solo so it can fly into the image. So we're gonna to need to improve that a little. Let's edit and go to the erase restore. 
And now we're just going to do the erase tool and the red will say, hey, what's the object? And so it didn't detect him. So I'll try again. Okay. And it wants a bigger part of the image. So let's bring the brush size down. All right. And it's a little bit of a work out here with the brush, but we got to get room.b to the right shape. Okay, great. So now we can isolate just part of the laptop and the legs and we want to get rid of the legs now. So really cool. Again, this tool is free. It's not Photoshop. It's not InDesign. It's not Illustrator. It's not PowerPoint. It's free on the web because we know a couple tricks and I'm here to share them with you. Maybe that'll get all the legs. Cross your fingers. Ooh, close. All right, I'm gonna restore that one. Okay, so now we can see what's erased and what's left, and I'm gonna try to restore the laptop. Will that work? Okay, so let's make the brush size a little smaller. I'm gonna try to restore just the gray metal. All right, so it got most of the laptop. It's just the leg was in front of it in the first place. I don't know if we can get any more laptop because it wasn't shown in the image in the first place. Okay, that's pretty good. Let's go back to the erase tool and we can see we're almost there. We're just going to get rid of a little bit more of the leg. All right. Bye-bye, leg. And take your mouse off and let remove BG do its thing. Okay, so it took away the rest of the leg because it just knows like that was a leg and it's not a laptop and it knows we don't want leg. So maybe we can restore like a teeny bit, but probably not. Okay, we'll take it. So now we have this laptop, which is almost all of a laptop, and we're gonna download it. And download that, and we'll just call this one almost a full laptop. No BG for no background. Okay, great. So what do we have now? We have the guy floating with a laptop out here. What we're going to need to do now is hit X to go back to our design here and go to the guy. Oh, sorry. We're not going to download the guy, but if you click on top of him, it will try to download and we're going to edit him and we're going to go. Boy, blur is like cool. Look at that. That's fun. So you could blur out your image, you could have yourself there on a hammock or on a little swing and you're blurred because you're in a dream or you're just like seeing the coolest clients or everyone's focused on you and the background just blurs out when you're working because you're in the zone. There's just so many different cool things you could do. Look at that. You're on a lake that's frozen in like Moscow or something in like Europe or something. Okay, so we're going to go to Erase Restore. And we didn't want any of that background. Let's X out of that. Discard results. Edit again. And we're gonna go to Erase Restore. And now, unfortunately, we're gonna get rid of the laptop. I know we loved it, but now we don't like it. We don't want it. Okay, and I think this will figure it out. Okay, nice. So he just got one arm, but um, I don't think he had two arms in the first place. So it's just kind of a weird image like that. We weren't missing his arm before, so we shouldn't now. Okay, beautiful. Let's just get rid of a little tiny bit more laptop from his lap. That is so cool. I mean, that is just such a smart tool. Okay, so we're good. All right, now we're happy with our results of the man. No laptop, and we'll download. Okay, and this is going to be our man. No laptop. No BG. And we should be done with all of our steps in remove.bg. All right, the next step is going to be to remove the man from the image entirely and create just the image as a background as if you weren't there at all. So we're going to head over to cleanup.pictures. Click here and drag image file. And let's get our Fang and Beach photo. Okay. We'll continue with the SD. And now we're going to brush away our guy and our hammock. Basically the whole thing, except for the palm trees and the shoreline. Similar sort of a brush feel and tool as remove.bg. All 
and it did pretty good. As you can see, it got rid of most of the guy, and the sand filled in pretty good. We just need to do a couple more rounds. So make sure to hold as you drag, and if you let go, it'll just go ahead and get to work. Pretty good. I mean, that's like almost perfection. Really exciting the tools that we have for free. And of course, as your teacher, I will deliver these little tricks to you every day. Well, probably not every day, but whenever I have ones that are good enough. Or if you guys just need something specific, you can always ask in the comments. Okay, so here we have basically the image. A couple splotches, now zero splotches, no man. Great, let's put it to use. Or we get really picky, that might be one more splotch. It might just be my computer screen. Okay, now let's download our beautiful blank beach image. Okay, save it. And now what we're gonna do is head back to Layer Slider, which feels like home now. Go to Slides List, and we're gonna pop in a brand new slide. And after doing all that cleanup stuff and the editing in Remove.bg, that was by far the hardest part of this ending finale of the tutorial where we make a guy for Layer Slider that's all broken up and bring them together. So everything else is gonna be a breeze now. And here we are. We're going to give the slide a layer like before, make that image, and we're going to grab the blank beach here. So that should be in download still. Just sort by date modified, and hopefully, your computer won't mess with you and bury your files like it does for me. And insert. All right, and it's not that big because it wanted us to use the SD version, so. What we're gonna do is basically just stretch a little bit, or stretch, and because the image is not too HD, we wanna get as much of it in the frame as we can. Okay, good enough. Now we'll add another layer, image, upload files, select files, man to laptop, no, yep, okay. And then lastly, we're gonna add just the laptop. So three images in total, here is our Second layer, he's having fun. He just doesn't have a second arm and he doesn't know what he's looking at right now. Okay, we can bring him back into his full shape. And kind of cool, you can see in that upper left palm tree up here, there's a little remains of the image. So we actually get a little guideline there. Lining up the rope to the rope. Okay, super cool. And then lastly, one more layer. We need the laptop, add image, load files, select files, and we're gonna grab, and I'm sorry, it's been a long day. I sound super chill now. Grab, um, yeah, almost full laptop, no BG. Insert, and that's gonna go perfectly on his lap, right there. It fits, just needs to become a little smaller. It's almost fitting perfectly in his lap. That'd be like a huge giant laptop. I'd be so pumped that I got the 24 inch MacBook. Okay, awesome. So our image basically adds up. There's just a couple little blurs like Command Z if you don't like your movement. Like right here on the corner of the laptop, it's a little blurry. And then like up here, here, up here on the rope, it's a little blurry. Um, so you can always run those, uh, remove backgrounds again and again, just kind of by chance, focusing on slightly different sections of the image. And remove.bg might have different sensors that keep, you know, a slightly more perfect part of your image. In this case, this is really good. So all I need to do now is animate it. And let's start with our background transition. And we know that when we go to the transition presets, we can now like grow it if we want or slide it in. All right, so for ours, I'm not gonna go with a moving transition preset. I'm just gonna go with a, just a ease in quad of 1000. Now with the man in a laptop though, I'll click on him and we're gonna give him an opening preset and he is gonna swing in, you guessed it. Man, that's awesome. Make sure to click our and that's awesome. Make sure to click our check mark there to keep it. And rotation is set as is, and we'll save it. 
Center slider top for transform origin. Cool, we learned that. And duration is 3000. And that should work. Okay, so now almost full laptop. That's gonna come down later and we're gonna have this one fall in. Okay, and we'll check that. Now from the top is good. Start at 1500. Um, so we're gonna have to play these transitions on top of each other. I'm not sure if start at 1500 is good because we might we want the man in there already. So he won't really be in there. Okay, we can make his swing go a little faster. So the, the man won't be in there settled until 2500. So let's start that at 25. Even though this thing takes 1500, it's gonna start at 2500. And save it and publish. Okay, now let's see what we made. Okay, and we're also gonna go to slides list and we're gonna make this slide number one because it's the coolest one. And it could be the centerpiece of our website because the more I look at this guy, the more I'm like, dang. I wanna be him, ladies wanna, I want to be him, ladies want him, parents are afraid of him. And he's going to be called the man. Okay, here we go now, clicking our logo to check out our new design. The site might freak out a little. Okay. <laughs> but it was actually pretty cool. The site is just freaking out a little bit because everything is loading. And my browser is tired out. That's so cool. <laughs> I mean, it kind of worked. We just have to size him down because he's zoom, zoomed up too much right now. Okay. Try again after moving our guy up a little, condensing him a little bit. And yeah, pretty cool. Let's delete the cache. So we make sure we see all the latest images. And there he comes. We just want to see his full hand in the air, but that's so cool. <laughs> All right, so let's clearly like make things even smaller here. And we can even give our guy a little bit of magazine style Photoshop editing, make him a little thinner. I doubt anyone will notice the difference. And save and publish one more time. And refresh, and our screen just needs to like figure it out because maybe if we have a smaller screen, like a more reasonable laptop instead of this massive iMac, things will load a little slower. We can see our site's obviously very mobile friendly responsive. Everything responds. And yeah, things actually do move a lot better and a lot more freely on a normal size laptop screen. And we get the full fist of the guy and we get the full guy. <laughs> That's so cool. So I would say most of your users, I'm betting, will be using a MacBook or a Chromebook or a Dell, an Acer, something like that with a more reasonably sized screen, like 13 or 15 inches. And these graphics are going to load really nice on that screen. All right, enjoy. Oops. <laughs> All right, enjoy.